Alright, so we're going to start this tutorial with the moisturizer and I am using the H2O Plus Beauty um, Water Bright Moisturizer and I apply this all over my skin and this is how I prep. I'm going to go in first with a concealer because I have very dark under eyes and I have breakouts which I want to hide a little bit with the concealer. People color correct but I find concealer for me works a lot easier and a lot better. So after I apply the concealer, I like to go in with my foundation. Of course, my holy grail at the moment is the Pro... Uh, Glow by the L'Oreal Infallible and I place dots everywhere in my face and then with the beauty blender I blend everything and make sure that I don't go over my under eyes because I don't want to darken them up with the foundation So make sure everything is well blended and then after this process I like to move into my eyebrows and I am using the A Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil and I just pretty much draw in the eyebrow at the bottom and lightly strokes to look like hair and then I brush them away just to make sure that everything is even and it looks natural. And here I am doing the other eyebrow and just pretty much working the way that it fits my brows and I like how it looks. I like sometimes I like bold brows, sometimes I like very natural, but I like most of the time I do bold brows. So after the brows are done, I go in with the concealer and that is how excited I get with concealer and I'm using two concealers at the moment. The one I'm using right now is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and then at the bottom I'm applying the NYX um, HD Concealer because I'm running out on the, lower, on the Kat Von D. So I'm applying concealer everywhere you want highlight and I'm running out of all the concealers. So uh, Beauty Blender, blend everything away. Have a little concert while you get ready. That's why we take forever doing our makeup. Then I'm using the Airspun Extra Coverage Translucent Powder to bake and set my uh, makeup. I feel this extra step helps and looks beautifully and helps you set your makeup the correct way. So I'm just pretty much baking everywhere I apply um, concealer. So I'm using this Holy Girl palette at the moment, which is from Sola Look, the matte palette. And I'm using that color in the corner called Alex, it's like a grayish undertone color. I'm applying that on my crease, I'm using that as my transition color. Then I am applying the Passion, which is like that dark deep brown. And I'm just intensifying my crease, working my way up and of course blending. Blending, blending, blending in my cardio. So that's just pretty much going to bring a little definition into my eyes to make them look a little more on the dramatic. Then I'm just using a light color. You can use any light color you have um, foundation, um, sorry, shadow. Find that on the lid and as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm using a black eyeliner pencil. This is Pacifica and I love it because it's very creamy and it glides on perfectly fine. And then I just draw in a line very close to my lashes. And I don't worry about being it perfect because we're going to use a spoolie. It's like a spongy sort of applique applicator. And with that, what I like to do is I like to trace in the line just to smoke it out and make it look a little bit more on the smoke out, not so intense like a liquid liner. So for mascara, I'm using all those. And I'm starting with the L'Oreal Feline. As you can see, the difference between lashes there, it went a little too quick. But what I like to do is I like to apply the L'Oreal Feline first and then the Pacifica. And I like to make sure that I my lashes are showing. Then I'm just pretty much dusting the translucent powder away. Moving now to con uh, contour, bronzer, Hula bronzer, of course. So pretty much everywhere that I see here on YouTube, people wearing it, that's where I wear it. Dance it off, girl, dance it off. And then for uh, blush, I'm using the MAC Desert Rose. And then after that, I'm blending. You don't want to look like a, a doll. I'm spraying a little bit of the Jura Cosmetics Lay All Day on my face and then on the brush to make sure that the highlight pops and stays in my skin for the whole entire day. So blending everything together. And then I'm moving on to lip. I'm using the Jura Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lip and Lipstick in the color Mild High. It's a beautiful deep burgundy but not too intense. And here is the completed look. This is my go-to full coverage glam. I use it every single day when I'm running errands and I just, it doesn't take me that long honestly. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!